All right, hello, hello everyone. Uh, today's video, I uh, will be uh, working on a uh, Dell. Uh, it's a Dell Latitude E6540. All right, so let me show you this model number again. It's, uh, it's the Latitude E6540. Okay, and this came as a no power. So it seems that there is no power to this computer. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the battery, unlock it, and remove it. Set it on the side here. Then we're gonna open it up. And you're gonna plug it up to the charger, to the power supply actually, and let's see how many amps it's gonna draw. Or if it is even drawing any amps. So I set the power supply, and it is drawing like 2.4 amps. All right. So let me see if I can show you here the power supply. And once I plug in the computer, so it's right now at 19 volts, zero amps, the current. Sorry for the setup. I still don't have it set up to for that, but as soon as you plug it up, stay can. 2.4 amps and the voltage is dropping to 5 volts so that's a big short right there so right now here we see that there is a short and that's what's causing the no power so in order to fix this we're gonna have to start taking apart the computer and see what's going on Ooh. Ooh, something is melting here. Oh, wow. So we definitely have a problem right there. We might not have to take the whole board out. Let's check and see if it's going to be an easy board repair. So let's first set it to diode mode. And check if we have any short to ground on the main line. So this seems to be the main line here. And that is what was overheating. So the problem might not be from that though. Okay. And it does seem to be like 007, it's definitely a short. Okay. That is a short straight to ground. Wow. And we do have a short straight to ground. All right. All right. So, still checking here on the MOSFET, so we're going to check and see where would be the first MOSFET using diode mode. Come on. Okay. I'm going to switch it to diode mode. <clears throat> okay. 
So the short is right here. And then this would be the first diode. So the, <clears throat> the power from the charger is coming straight to this. I'm sorry, the MOSFET. Did I say diode? Okay, and from this MOSFET, it's moving here, from here to here, and from here to the circuit, and that's where the short is after the second one. Isn't it? Yep. So I'm gonna do at this point, I'm gonna inject a small voltage over here and see what's uh, where the current is going. Okay. So thermal cam is up and running and it seems like something is being detected and uh, let's see what it is it does seem like a Let's get closer. There it is. It seems like a capacitor. Let's try to point to it. See which capacitor it is. Here it is. All right, so it's going to be this capacitor here. That is what's overheating. And that is probably what's causing this whole system issue here. On both sides. Yes. Bad cap. Let's see how bad it is. Okay, let's first measure and see if the short is gone. Okay, this is the ground side, isn't it? Okay, let's move on this capacitor. So, as you see, it's uh, no more short. So, bottom side is zero. And the top side is 618 voltage drop, so that's that's pretty good. So I'm sure the short is gone. Let's just turn on the power supply. And it's no more uh, drawing any amps. So I have a good reason to uh, believe that the problem is solved. Do it again. See that cap? Garbage. Second most important thing, replace that cap to avoid noisy comments. There you go. So we just got a replacement cap here, capacitor. And I'm going to put it right there when we pick that up. Beautiful. So I'm not sure if you're seeing this, but here it is. Cap replaced, and now we can put the board back in testing. So we plugged it up to the charger here, and uh, we turn it on. And here we go. Computer's booting up. We got a Windows logo. Job done. So a quick wrap up. Uh, we got a computer, tested on the power supply without a battery. It was uh, drawing 2.5 amps, which is not normal, so we know there's a short. Uh, took it apart, we pinpointed the short, and using the thermal cam, we got the capacitor responsible for the short, replaced it, and we got a fully working computer. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you soon.